Hello chess lovers, Soren here and I have an interesting game for you played by 2018 World Junior Chess Champion Iranian Grandmaster Parham Mahsudlu. His opponent is Nutaki Priyanka. Priyanka is on the white side and this game was played at 2018 Sharjah Masters. Now let's see what happened on the board. Priyanka started the game with e4 and c5 by Mahsudlu. Mahsudlu goes for Sicilian defense knight f3 knight c6 d4 c takes d4 knight takes d4 knight f6 knight c3 here playing e5 transforms to Sveshnikov variation but in the game we see d6 black is choosing the classical variation f3 e5 knight b3 bishop e7 bishop e3 black castles king side Queen d2, white is preparing castling queenside. Of course, all this is a standard stuff seen many times. Bishop e6, white castles queenside. We have an opposite side castlings, and this is going to be a sharp battle. And here we go a5, black is starting an immediate advancement on the queenside. Bishop b5, white is both developing the bishop and at the same time is acting against black's a4 move. Knight a7, bishop e2. Although capturing on a7 and then playing king b1 and then if needed playing a4 could have been better for white. But in the game after knight a7 we see bishop e2. Here b5 is the best move but black first played knight c8 and only after a move repetition he went for b5. Bishop takes a7. Well if a move like knight takes b5 then after the exchange on b5 Black can first play a4, corner this knight and then go for the standard d5 move. Of course, black has a huge compensation for the sacrificed pawn. Let's go back, but in the game after b5 we see bishop takes a7, rook takes a7 and only now white won the pawn on b5. Rook a8, king b1, now comes a4, knight c1, queen b6, bishop d3, White is losing a precious time, it was better to start an advancement on the king's side, but in the game we see bishop d3 and black brought into life the standard d5 idea. A very important move in neither variation, this is allowing black to get rid of the weakness on d6 and free his position, he takes d5, knight takes d5, rook e1, bishop f6, knight e2, rook b8, c4, knight e3, this time white knight is taking under attack the pawn on c4, and after knight c3, Mahsudlu simply won the pawn on c4. Bishop takes c4, bishop takes c4, now that knight on b5 is under attack, knight a3, this time white is threatening, knight takes c4, but black's response was very powerful, bishop d3 check. Black is simply using the fact that the bishop is untouchable because there is this mating threat. After bishop d3 check, white king moved on a1 square, after which the second bishop joined the attack, bishop g5. Look at this powerful deflective move. And it turns out that there is no safe square for white queen. You can't move it away or capture on g5 because there is always this mating threat. Knight a4 was played a desperate move but here Mahsudlu simply captured on d2. In return white won black queen but now comes bishop takes e1. Knight d7, white is forking both rooks but this is a desperate attempt after bishop b4, Priyanka resigned. Now if white knight wins one of the rooks then actually in the end of the day black has an extra piece and there is no chance for white to survive, that's why after bishop b4 Nutaki Priyanka resigned. A very simple but effective attack by Parham Mahsudlu. I left those bishop d3 and bishop g5 moves very much. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this game. For more games consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you in the next video.